Good morning, class. How are you today? Okay, before we start, let's all rise and stand up for our opening prayer to be led by Given Grace Alvarez. Good morning, class. Okay, please take your seats now. Wow! I can see a lot of happy faces today. And everything and everywhere was clean. All of the chairs are arranged properly. Good job, guys! Class Secretary, please check the attendance for us to know who is absent for today. For today's class, we will engage in a new journey. So let us start our day with the new learnings. Are you with me? Now, may I ask some opinion of you on what do you think is the reason why God created our world within six days? Yes, Miss Given Grace? Very good answer! Yes, Miss Kate? That's right! Yes, Miss Mary Ann, did you want to add something? Oh, that's good! Well, that is your opinion. So let us notice what is the connection between that question to our lesson and how it is being related to our topic for today. So, before we start to our discussion, let's take up these activities. I will give you a set of words or jumble words that later you will notice what it is all about and how it is being related to our topic. Did you get the instruction? Yes. That's good. Okay, let us check your answer if it is correct. Number one, who wants to answer? Yes, Christian. Marine Mercen, that is correct. Number two, Babet Lynn. Prime numbers, that is correct. Number three, Rosalind. Perfect number, that is correct. Number four, Trisha. Composite number, that's right. Number five, Rosalind again. Gimps, that is correct. All of your answers are being correct, so let us give Everyone, the good job clap. Oh, ready? One, two, three, good. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, good job. So let us discuss our topic. And that is Marine Mersenne and his contribution in the field of mathematics. So who is Marine Mersenne? Does everyone know who is Marine Mersenne? Marine Mersenne was born on September 8, 1588, and he died on September 1, 1648 in Paris. He attended the College of Man and for 1604 to 1609, he also attended the Jesuit College at La Perse. Taught theology and philosophy from 1614 to 1618. He started as theologian and he is also a Roman Catholic friar. He settled in Paris in 1619 to study mathematics. In short, Marine Mersen was a mathematician, a philosopher, a theologian, a writer, and even a teacher. He has a great contribution in the field of mathematics because he is the one who studied prime numbers and tried to find formulas that represents all prime. Although he failed but attracted many mathematicians to know and find out about prime numbers. He gave a formula for the special type of prime numbers, which is Mersenne's prime. Here is the formula for Mersenne's prime. MP is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1, where n is a prime. So, before we continue to our discussion, let us know the history about the prime numbers. Early writers felt that the number of form 2n minus 1 were prime for all prime n. But, in 1536, Hudalricus Regius showed that 2 raised to 11 minus 1 is equal to 2047 was not a prime because it is 23 times 89. 1603, Pietro Cataldi had completely verified that 2 raised to 17 minus 1 and 2 raised to 19 minus 1 were both prime. But he had incorrectly stated that 2 raised to 11 minus 1 were prime for 23, 29, 
31 and 37. In 1640, Fermat showed Cataldi was wrong about 23 and 37. In 1738, Euler showed Cataldi was also wrong about 29. And sometimes later, Euler showed Cataldi assertion about 31 was correct. So it means, based on Cataldi's assertion, that 2 raised to 11 minus 1 are prime for 23, 29, 31, and 37. The only one that is correct was 31. From 1588 to 1648, Mersenne stated to his preface on his book, Cogitata Physica Mathematica, that the numbers 2 and minus 1 were prime for 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 17, 19, 31, 67, 127, and 157. So let us know what is the prime numbers. Prime numbers are the numbers that has only two factors, one and themselves. Let's say for example, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 7 times 1 is equal to 7. 11 times 1 is equal to 11. They are the numbers that has only two factors, one and themselves. Did you get it? Okay, let's moving on to the composite numbers. What is the composite numbers? Who wants to read? Yes, Miss or piano? Mm -hmm. That's right. A composite numbers is a positive integers that can be formed by multiplying two smaller positive integers. Let's say for example, 10 is a composite numbers. Why? Because it is the product of two smaller integers, 2 times 5, and that is equal to 10. I have here some example for you to better understand what is the prime numbers and the composite numbers. So, prime numbers, 2 times 1 is equal to 2, 3 times 1 is equal to 3, 5 times 1 is equal to 5, 7 times 1 is equal to 7, 11 times 1 is equal to 11. So, next, composite numbers. 6 is a composite number. Why? Because when we multiply 3 times 2, that is equal to 6. Next, 10 is a composite number. Why? Because when we multiply 5 times 2, that is equal to 10. Next is 14. 14 is a product of 7 times 2, and that is the composite number. Next, 22. 22 is a product of 11 times 2. So, it is a composite number. Now, how is it being connected to our topic, Mersenne's Prime? So, as we look for the formula and definition of Mersenne's Prime, that is mn is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1, where n is a prime. If it is composite, then it is 2n minus 1. So, let's say for example, let n is equal to 5. So, 2 raised to 5 minus 1 is equal to 63. It is a composite. Why? Because when we multiply 21 times 3, it is a 63. So, it is not a prime. Now, let us talk about perfect numbers. So, what is the perfect numbers? A positive integer n is called perfect numbers if it is equal to the sum of its positive divisors excluding itself. For example, 6 is a perfect number because it could be divided by 1, it could be divided by 2, it could be divided by 3. So when we add 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is equal to 6. So 6 is a perfect number. Six. Next is, so next, 28. 28 is a perfect number. Why? Because it could be divided by 1, it could be divided by 2, it could be divided by 4, it could be divided by 7, it could be divided by 14. So when we add that number, that is equal to 28. So are we clear about perfect numbers? Okay. There is one-to-one -one correspondence between Mersenne's prime numbers and even perfect numbers. This is due to the Euclid Euler theorem. It partial by Euclid and completed by Leonard Euler. It was said that even numbers are perfect if they can only be 
expressed in the form of 2 raised to n minus 1 times 2 raised to n minus 1, where 2 raised to n minus 1 is a prime. In other words, all the numbers that fits in that expression are perfect. For example, when n is equal to 2, then 2 raised to 2 minus 1, that is equal to 3, that is prime. And 2 raised to n minus 1 times 2 raised to n times 1 is equal to 2 raised to 1 times 3, that is equal to 6. Then 6 is a perfect number. Now, as times goes by, people are continue searching for a larger Mercedes Prime. And with the help of the GIMPs, our great internet Mercedes Prime search, it is a collaborative project of a volunteer who use purely available software to search for a prime numbers. And according to the games, as of 2018, there are 51 known Mercedes Prime. And the largest prime numbers are 2 raised to 82 million 589,933 minus 1 is percent prime. Now, before we ended up our discussion, let us take this quote from St. Augustine. 6 is a perfect number itself, not because God created all things within 6 days, rather than the converse is true. God created the world in 6 days because the numbers are perfect. And it would have been perfect even the work of six days did not exist. Okay, is there any question? Any question? Any clarification? Or violence reaction about our discussion? Okay, if there is none, let us all stand up. And goodbye class. Okay, thank you for your participation and listening to our discussion.